Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Rogue Trader and we've got some level ups to do. So I didn't bother starring the um, the older archetype talents for the most part, um, but I did go through and star everybody's stuff for um, this current level up. So, yeah, let's get into it. Well, I didn't actually do his because he's not going to be a main party member. So we'll just kind of like go through his quit. Why does it keep going back to him? Fine, we'll do yours then. <laughs> All right, we'll start with Heinrichs. Um, okay, let's look at only the starred ones just to start with. Gains an additional 12 wounds and then more with toughness. That one could be good for him. Survivability. Um, they restore wounds every turn, unstoppable. They are immune to losing their movement, which is good for a melee only character. Uh, extra momentum, bonus to strength, 20% of the maximum wounds. So that would be a plus 16 here. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, might go with that one. That one's pretty good. Whenever they lose wounds, their next melee attack gains plus one damage for every two wounds lost. Eager for battle. During the first turns of combat, you gain plus two action points. Probably not a high priority, but could be good. Every round after the character kills the first enemy, um, they can make an attack against somebody else. This one's also not as important because it's harder to do with melee, but I still start it. Um, every character's melee attack reduces the target's armor by negative 6% until the end of combat. Applied before damage is calculated and it stacks. So that one's also a pretty high one on my list. Just an armor shredder on every single attack he does. Um, all damage dealt by the characters increased by plus three until the end of combat. Crushing Assault. First melee attack each round deals an additional plus two damage for every cell between the character's posi starting position and ending position. Um, and just plus five characteristics across the board. So I feel like Peak Condition, Destroyer, and Perfection Under Fire. Honestly, I think I'm going to do Perfection Under Fire. I might do that one early for a lot of people, just so that we can get close to more bonuses for everything. But uh, I don't know, man. Now nah, we're going to take that damage. Peak condition. Yep, we're taking it. Okay, and then we have... First tier archetypes, which I guess I do have some things starred that are considered first tier. Good. 10% more damage adjacent to the Psyker. Psy rating is increased by plus one until the end of combat every time an ally uses a heroic act. Psyker's critical hit chance is increased by resolve. Let's do Edge of Dawn. Okay, there are some real good ones for her. Some real good ones. I'm going to start from the bottom, actually. We have the Perfection Under Fire. Malign, whenever an enemy fails a willpower resistance test against the character, they suffer two times character's willpower bonus direct damage. On success, the damage is doubled. I did check. Um, the area of effect movement ability is, in fact, um, a willpower resistance test. So this would be really, really good for that. Um, plus 15 willpower as long as they have no ranged weapons. Also just very good for you. Um, just increases your willpower overall. Man, a plus 15 on that. I mean, these might be the first two we get for her. Um, she also has the movement, uh, the extra turn stuff, so some of those are marked. All damage dealt by the character is increased by plus 3% until the end of combat for every new enemy damaged by them this combat. So, like, I use that area of effect, like, thing, where it hit, like, eight people in one go. That's huge, huge bonuses in damage. So like that one's gonna add up really, really quick. I think Cataclysm might be the place to start.
and then we'll see where to go from there. But we also have um, Extermination, Death Dealer, which I don't know if Death Dealer would actually work with her abilities or if it has to be a weapon. I don't know if Psyker abilities count for Death Dealer, so that one I probably will avoid, but maybe I'll look that up and see. Uh, martyrdom, gain momentum, critical hit chance, uh, light armor increases your dodge, and healing each turn. But I think Cataclysm is where I want to start. Whenever the navigator uses a navigator power that hasn't been used this combat, the navigator gains plus two perception till the end of combat. Um, we also have Tonicity. Uh, path powers deal plus one additional damage for every five bonus characteristics of the navigator's currently equipped staff. Um, stable roots. Whenever the navigator uses navigator ability, veil degradation is reduced. Let's do that one. Stable roots. Some veil degradation stuff. We don't really have any of those yet this far into the game. All right, you're Liet. Okay. A little bit of healing there. Tricky defense, light armor. Probably going to do something critical um, for you. So characters, critical hit chance and critical damage are increased by 7% of their dodge. And her dodge is 115%. So yeah, that adds up pretty quick. What is resolve? Negative six? Hmm, okay. Um, anyway, let's let's just continue looking at this. Death dealer, when you get a kill, you get to attack somebody else that's nearby. Ignore deflection based on ballistic skill. Yeah, puncture could be good. If the character's armor penetration is higher than the enemy's armor. Character's critical hit chance against that enemy is increased by plus 2% for every 5% difference. That could be pretty good. The Masterful Precision, um, that would be mostly for Claim the Bounty. Claim the Bounty would get dead eye bonuses. Plus 5 to all abilities. The shoot through with over penetration would be good for you. And the masterful display. I think I'm going to take critical velocity to start with, though. In my sights, gain additional armor penetration equal to perception. Sure, we'll take that. Okay, Argenta. Okay, you have a lot of good ones, too. Critical hit chance. Whenever attacked, they gain momentum. Action points, death dealer. Character ignores deflection based on ballistic skill. Extermination. For every attack they've made in combat, they're going to do an extra damage. So extermination is really good because she's doing those AoEs. And she's doing a lot of, mul like, she's multi-attacking a lot, too. Um, Cataclysm also kind of, like, works really well for that. Honestly, that one might be better than Extermination. Um, out of my way is if she uses her kick. Plus five to everything. Shot through, the overpenetration, cannot be dodged, which will probably just happen for her a lot. So extermination, cataclysm, perfection under fire, and shot through are kind of my favorite ones right now. C 
since her current bolter doesn't have as wide of a spread, I'm kind of thinking shot through might be the way to go to start with. Oh, it's hard. Now we're going to take that plus three as well. Cataclysm. And we're going to take Trace the tra Trajectory, because that was one from the first tier that we were going to originally get, but didn't. Uh, because we didn't um, get it in time. Whenever the soldier successfully dodges or uses cover against an enemy attack, they gain a guaranteed critical against that enemy. That can be huge on her. I, I, can, I can feel these things building up to just massive, massive amounts of damage from Argenta. All right, with you, we don't really have a plan. <laughs> we didn't mark anything for you. Um, you're going to take... Perfection Under Fire. And then you're going to take... Sure, and then we can use that bleeding thing. We'll try that ability out. Prey on the weak. Cool. And there we are. Alright, so what can we do now then? I don't think we had access to this. Rise Maybe to after talking top. to him we do I'll now. Get left in the okay, dust. yes we do. Alright. Spires of Kamara pierce the darkness like needles through living flesh. I always have a backup plan. Oh, what's this? Marjai spends several minutes rifling through the items on the tables until he stops having noticed something. With a, a satisfied growl, he draws a long, pliable spiked whip from the pile. You hear a click, and an icy blue glow ripples out across the whip's smooth surface, with a slight crackling sound. I did not find my shadow field generator, and my toxin kit is gone too, but at least I have found my favorite toy. The Drakari shows you his find. Do you know what this is, vernacular? Well, any object you call your favorite toy cannot possibly be anything good. Marjai shakes his head. On the contrary, I have an exceptional taste. <laughs> an agonizer. An electrical disintegrator that acts upon the nerve impulses. This particular one is too fine a piece to be used in combat, but in a torture chamber. The Drukari hefts the whip. Clearly familiar with the feel and weight in his hand. An exquisite instrument of pain. Total impulse control that can deliver sensations as subtle as a whisper, or incinerate synapses. Why is it so important to you? Thank you very much. Why? Well, it is a priceless artifact that belongs to me, and I have reclaimed it before my kin managed to steal it. It is property of the Reaving Tempest that must not be allowed to fall into the hands of the other Cabals. And when we dispose of your Maris, the Spire will certainly come under attack. And lastly, I can indulge in a little sentimentality, can't I? Snap the agonizer in Marjai's hand. While you are in my retinue, you can forget about such abominations. He chokes in outrage, genuinely shocked by your decisiveness. Gripping the broken agonizer in his hand, he glares at you, almost shaking with rage. And yet he does not lose control. With deliberate nonchalance, he tosses the piece aside. <laughs> Ooh, that was rude of me. But he's kind of a bad person. I mean, we're all bad people in this world, but... The Drukhari seem to be exceptionally rude, <laughs> to, to put it in simple terms. All right, is this going to be your Maris? This looks like the gate. All right. I'm just waiting to be able to kick that guy out of my party. Yomaris gazes at you, the two of you lock eyes for the first time, an icy darkness churning in her stare. 
Worm, insect, you have the nerve to stand before me again. You should have gasped your last breath long ago. Very well, I will rid this arrogant monkey of his final breath myself. The Archon's gaze shifts away from you, to Marjai. A venomous smile spreads across her face. My former Dracon, my inept executioner, have you found yourself a new master? Marjai draws his weapon in a single fluid motion. Before your soul perishes in the maw of she who thirsts, I will teach it pain. The kind of pain you have never known in the whole of your existence, sister. What about you, child of Kruderok? How does it feel to know that you could not save yourself, your family, or your precious craft world? Irliad's spirit stone flashes on her chest and the ranger's hands tremble on the grip of her rifle. Your death will give me no joy, Archon Yamaris, but it may give peace to the spirits of my kin. Let's see. Wait, was Tervantius with her? And also, what is this big guy over here? I was not paying attention. What, what are you? I'm scared. Um, let's see. I see you've taken Tervantius under your wing again. Really? Is he here? The homunculus may play as many, as many of his little games in the arena as he pleases. I am satisfied with what he provides for the ranks of the Cabal. That makes him valuable enough to spare his life. Okay. All those craft world fragments, all those prisoners, was it all worth it, Zeus? Spare yourself the struggle of comprehending the meaning behind my deeds, wretched creature. Kudrak was to be my key to power, the likes of which the Reaving Tempest could only dream of. Majesty is mine alone to claim, and I will claim it. No, Archon, you are destined for retribution. Blood for blood. I cannot destroy your entire cabal as you destroyed Kudrak, but I have the strength to cut off the snake's head. Oh, poor little outcast. Yamaris leers at your Liette, staring into her eyes like a predator. The suffering of your brothers and sisters nourished us for a long time. Now you too will give me your pain. What did you need the Farseers for? Why take such a risk? So be it. I will humor you before death. If only to step out of another shadow once and for all. I wish to orchestrate a little disjunction, and with my helpless brethren in my clutches, who are capable of tearing apart the veil with their mere presence, it could not have been simpler. When the time came, the Farseers would be my weapons against the Reaving Tempest's rivals. Under cover of the Cataclysm, my blades would behead all those who stood in the way of my ascent. You destroyed your future with your own hands. When the truth became known, all the weapons of the Kamara would have turned against you, and against my and this coward was my Dracon. You are too quick to call the Raving Tempest your cabal. You have neither the ambition nor the vision to lead all these warriors, full of lust for power and blood. Marjai laughs mockingly, dragging Farseers into our spire in an attempt to trigger a disjunction. That was your grand vision? It is a pity you have not bothered to lead a single raid in recent years. It would have been entertaining to watch you order a fleet to fly headlong into monkey structures and detonate their engines, all to secure a bright future for the Cabal. All right, I've grown tired of these games and machinations. Prepare to die, Archon Yamaris. Die? <laughs> she draws her weapon. You are the only one who dies today, and after I'm done with you, I will pay a visit to real space to observe the tear and ruin wrought by my cabal. Do you know, Monk, that so many of your kind have had their lives cut short at the hands of their own kin? I used you to purge the ranks of, ranks of the cabal, to clear all obstacles from my path. I used you to accomplish my goals. I colluded with your kind, despite your much vaunted hatred of Xenos which ought to have prevented any of you from even considering such a thing. You lie, Xenos. This is the foul slander of an enemy of humanity. Marjai narrows his eyes. You purged the ranks of the Cabal and cleared all obstacles from your path? Even in that you failed, you talentless wretch. I am still here. I will be the one to purge the Reaving Tempest of you. My servants are heading out on a new hunt as we speak. Who will become their prey? Which lights will wink out in the void? How many monkey will perish in the darkness? Your Maris lets out a mocking laugh. You will never know. Have you any final words to speak before your demise, your Maris? She tilts her head. Well, I intend to live, monkey. I will live, and I will continue my work and lead my cabal to greatness.
All right, we might actually be killing her here. Oh my god, okay, we're surrounded. I wasn't sure if she was going to take off and uh, leave the fight to her underlings or not. Okay. Where can we get the most? I don't know if you can be moved. Let's just stick with this group here. to being ordered around. Okay, what is this one right now? Bonuses are doubled. Um, let's do that on the one that gives her more crit in the back line. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I'm afraid not. Oh, you can only have the one with that one. I gotta read through those a little bit more carefully. From the ashes, <laughs> okay, I, rise. I was laughing and then he hit me with his melee. Shit, <laughs> that's really bad. We're, we got two people almost dead already? Okay, this is actually gonna be a fight though. You will pay for this in blood. Okay, um... Damn, just like but that, we're in such a bad spot. Lord Captain. Injuries will not slow me. We really gotta take her down, like, right Come away. Your last stroke of luck! Had to take a break. Somebody was vacuuming upstairs. <laughs> coming through on the mic. Wouldn't have been very pretty for all of you. Um, okay. So what do I want to do here? Let's give you an extra turn here in the hopes that maybe I can kick you away. Faith without deeds is worthless. Good. Whoa, something... Look at how many AP points. You should have only gotten, what, four? I thought we thought it was only gonna be four. What happened? I'm, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. Cool. <laughs> we'll take this. All right, um, I want to murderize I'll you. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Is that my best? Okay, 84 is pretty good on that. You're incredibly dangerous, so I want to just wreck your... ruin your day. Okay, it's not a bad start. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'm just trying to get this back up, because I want to get it before... Your Maris has a chance to attack again. Because they brought our our stuff down big time. Oh! I 
I'll tear your throat out personally, monkey. Oh, are you gonna run? What? Why? No, why did this happen? Okay, so you got some like... You got some like boss actions or some shit. What was that? Let's see, maybe I can see if I look here. It took the rest of my turn away too. That's dumb. So she got full health again. doesn't even say what happened. Somebody's just gonna have to tell me in the comments. There's too many things in here. I have no idea what it was. It's upsetting, though. Pace as good as done. So is that going to keep happening? I'm, I'm just a little bit lost here on what that was. Okay, um... I'm going to just have to shred some guys, I feel like. I'll do it. in the will of the righteous. You call this a strike? <laughs> As the Emperor commands, I act. You, my Emperor! Darn, I was hoping that'd be enough to kill. Okay, so now he's getting the rest of his turn? Yes? Maybe? Because, yeah, he only has 3 AP. I wonder if he did something that, like, delayed his turn? I, I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. Um, either way, we're kind of still in a bad spot, though. I'm gonna give Lynch pin I'll to see to it personally. On it. When did you get knocked down? Okay, well, she's gonna lose her turn. That's not gonna be great for us, but it is what it is. I refuse. I'll make it happen. I may be down, but I'm not out. Dude, this is gonna be a fight. Um, yeah, we've, we've lost. Like, I'm pretty sure we've lost. I'm gonna fight this out, but I think we've lost. Huh. These turrets are shredding us. Your Maris is, like, absolutely wrecking our shit. I am not a vessel for pain. I am its master.
I want to stop there for the attack, so where do I need to go to make that happen? Come on, man. Come on. That... what? Okay, he's actually on that space. So yeah, I absolutely do need to hit that square if I want to... Okay. There. I thought he was in that space for a second, but... right now? Man, I really wish I didn't have Marajai. Like, he's weakening my team, I feel like, because I don't want to use him. I'd rather have Abelard. Oh my god. Battlefields are always drowned in spawn. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I'll do it. Oh, I should have checked those percentages. They're pretty bad, aren't they? Oh, fuck me. That was dumb. Faith without deeds is worthless. <laughs> could have gotten probably the kill on that big guy. Um, what are the negative? Fellowship is halved? Alright, you're not using your fellowship stuff quite as much. You're mostly using navigator stuff, so I'm gonna I'll do this. I'll show you why navigators are feared. Commands I ask. I'll do it. Hey, okay, get a reload in. Doubt is for the weak. Damn. It's really hopeful. I'll do it. Oh, I could have done that twice, because that's right, we were in an extra turn. I could have killed him. Do not dare ask. Practically one shot us. I hate, really hate her. Ooh, that's rough. It's nothing. Okay. 
completely surrounded. She can't even move. Um, if you only get kicked one, you're still stuck. You have to get it on this person. Yeah, cool. Hmm. Let's just see what happens first. We need your eaters. Damn, for sure. You can't do that twice, right? No. <laughs> okay, I've got a free attack. Good. Okay. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Come on, Finn. Oh, no. <laughs> I know it was only like 50 to 60, but I just wanted you to finish that incubus. My soul shall become like fire. I think that it... Okay, she's barely alive, actually. Um, oh, we're, in, we're, we're so dead. You suck, dude. You seriously suck so much ass. You are a detriment to my team right now. Like, get out of here, bro. Nobody loves you. Watch! Don't distract me! It's gonna be even relatively safe? Not really. You can move really far, but you're not really getting... I can't get away from your Maris. I can't find good cover. Hmm. <laughs> okay. What if I went here? No, we're not gonna be close enough to killing these guys. Hmm. I don't know, man. One damage dealer gone. If I may. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Yeah, she's dead. There's no way she's dodging it. Nobody's been able to dodge your Maris yet. I still have no idea why she got all her health back. What happened? That, that's the frustrating part, is like, if I knew why and what was causing that, like, I feel like I can make smarter decisions, but I'm a little bit lost. Um, I don't think Cassia can solo this. She's got pretty good dodge, yeah, but like, she's gonna get surrounded and like, as soon as your Maris can catch her, she's done. Um, yeah. Okay. 
with grace and malice. Man, you suck so bad, dude. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I am a navigator, not a spy. Isn't this a job for the serfs? It's worth it. If I may. Damn, what's the reach on that thing? So I'll need two for our swing. Should maybe move into this so that we get the bonuses. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Seriously? I'm stressed, man. <laughs> I'm stressed. Think she's good. If only that were possible. Okay, no line of sight there. Hold on. Can I do something about this? I need her to get away from me. <laughs> Tank, I love it. I do, I love it. Alright. I need to figure out if I can do anything to your Maris with just these two. this this turn. It's our like one chance I feel like. With grace and manners. Open up a wound. What does this do? Uh, 
then that extra resolve I don't think is going to help us that much. I mark my path with ruin! Oh, you call this a strike? That one's your Maris. How did I get turned around? Don't I love. thought this was your Maris. Uh, well, well, we're screwed anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Truly, what does it matter? We're so done. There's absolutely no way. Oh my gosh. Whoa to you. Cool. Good job, guys. That should have gotten her too. She was the same distance. Maybe she succeeded. Okay, I got two there. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. Okay, you're the one that we need to strip armor from. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, so she's got like crazy parry and whatnot, right? 79% dodge. Okay. Um. Step aside. The navigator is coming. Didn't go for the kill, huh? Interesting choice. Her dodge is so good. Is she even hittable, man? Oh my god. I don't know how she's doing it, but she's like, she's... She basically is this team. Pathetic attempt! I'm done playing with you. I will hurt the prey. Behold! Black. You're still my best damage dealer. I'm sorry, Marzai, but I think I think I'm gonna have to kill you here. I can taste my blood. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Oh, I was really hoping she couldn't reach. Oh my god, we can dodge her! You can dodge your Maris. Nobody's... That's the first dodge we've seen against your Maris. Alright, this is where things get dicey, though. This is ridiculous. <laughs> stop it! You have to stop. This isn't fair. <laughs> I will fight this to the end. We're gonna, like... I don't know for sure that I'm gonna fail, but there's a strong chance. Okay, getting her away was good. Can I get you to move away? Yes. Okay, and then how much can I move away and still... wreck all of those guys? I 
I'm not accustomed to being I think she's getting more power-ups on her damage too because more people are coming in and the more people she hits. So actually, like, there might be some really good things happening right now. Can't do anything with that, can't do anything with that, can't... I don't think you can use that on your... Oh, you can use that on yourself. I don't think it helps you, but... Um, yeah, this is still very dicey, but like... Cassia stands a chance to solo this whole sh the whole shebang. She's that good. I can't believe she's dodging Emeris. If she wasn't capable of dodging Emeris, there'd be no chance. Like, our luck has to run out someday. Red tomes of military tactics. If I may. Shit, I think she's gonna solo this for us. She might win us this fight. Numerous is at 400 health. Speed this up a little bit. It's all luck on these, on the draw of the dodge. Like if we can continue to dodge, we're gonna be fine. Me. Oh, you insist, your last captain. stroke of luck. Nope. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Wrong one. Do that one. Witness the fury of House or Celio. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I don't think I have to re-up this, but since I, I get no feedback on how, when and where stratagems are applied, I'm just gonna make sure shit looks good. Dude, is my Cassie unkillable? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, bring in your little guys. It's just gonna make me stronger. <laughs> Plus 3% damage for every new enemy I kill. Or attack, I mean. <laughs> Honestly, that ability might be what's um, saving me in this fight right now. Okay, deal with what's in front of us. So, I think your Maris just went down in that group. Oh my god. No way. No way, Cassia. Our Mer Queen is unkillable. I'm pretty sure she's unkillable. Okay, let's try and find the spot that pulls them the furthest away from us. Let's try like right over there. Yeah. Woe to you. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around or clad in scarlet. You call this a strike? Okay. You have to assume that reinforcements aren't like if they're infinite and I'm not able to kill them all like within the rounds that I need I'm kind of screwed here if reinforcements stop after your Maris dies which I'm hoping is the case otherwise we might be stuck in an infinite loop here because she won't be able to kill faster than we can get rid of these guys I feel like you will pay for this in blood I am a navigator. Face the navigator's might. Like, if reinforcements come on this next turn, I think we're in trouble. Your last stroke. 
Book of Luck. All right, I think we're good then. No way, dude. I cannot believe we won that. I think our Cassia is unkillable. <laughs> Mandrake. The Mandrake's words are barely comprehensible. The creature is clear clearly not accustomed to the tongue of its dark kin. The Dracon didn't offer a sacrifice for our deeds. The Dracon must become the sacrifice. It appears that the consequences of a certain someone's actions have caught up to them. Marajai places a hand on his weapon. His voice sounds calm, but his gaze is tense as he peers at the dark creature before him. You should not have crawled out of the abyss that you wretched kind call home. Consider our pact broken. Nazra Kai did not hold up his end of the bargain, so I had to finish the job myself. The result matters not, the sacrifice will be made. The Mandrake's head turns to you. Make the sacrifice, monkey. The tribe never relents. The tribe will find you. Lord Captain, these creatures. It is as if they absorb the colors around them and spew out darkness. I do not think they are lying or trying to intimidate us. They will come from the shadows just as they came once before. There's no option to give him to them? I'm sorry, but is this a CRPG where choices are a thing? Excuse me? How is there not an option for me to give him up right now? <laughs> Alright, fine. Well, I'm still handing you over to Heinrichs as soon as we're at our ship, and then these guys are still probably going to come after us, but... Really? Like, that's not a choice? Yeah, this act is... needs a little work. <laughs> the, the little things that frustrate me really have added up in this act. I certainly hope that our partnership is worth it, Marajai. Keeping you around is costly. The Drakari glowers at you. So is keeping you, Vernacular. Dude, I'm handing you over to Heinrichs like the second I can, bro. <sighs> Senseless creature. The tribe will find you. The tribe will have its sacrifice. can't believe they didn't account for that option. It's actually insane to me. Okay, let's move everything over. This looks unique. Take a look at that. Bro, like seriously? <laughs> okay. Agonizing Splinter Pistol. It's Drukari, so probably... Yeah, we won't be using that. Decrease all incoming damage except direct by minus one plus versatility stacks. Huh. Interesting. Kind of like the sound of that one. At the beginning of the combat, the wearer gains the Shadow Field effect. While under this effect, the wearer counts as being in a full cover against all ranged attacks. The effect is lost when the wearer is hit by a ranged attack and suffers damage from it. It's kind of cool too. <laughs> Grants wears intelligence bonus percent and dodge to the wear and their allies and their allies. Okay, those are some good items. I like it. I always keep my options open. A gloomy landscape appears before your eyes. We got another level up. Look at that. Okay. Okay, looks like we looted everything with that one loot. And this is where we're going to end this episode. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, tell me how crazy it was that, uh, my girl Cassia was able to solo that fight. Like, dude. Yeah, you have 134% dodge, but still, like, damn. Damn. Now, doesn't your armor sort of tell you, yeah, 30% of average enemy attacks in this chapter, and that's just what comes from the armor and its dodge and whatnot. So, we're getting all sorts of bonuses in dodge, like, 
base armor property, awareness divided by 10% of dodge. We've got this that is stacking dodge. Like, honestly, our build for her rocks. It really does. Oh, that was stacking as well. She was getting like plus 6% bonus damages from this and like the other build. Like, we were stacking damage percentages big time in that fight. You're unkillable, Cassie. I think I think you're actually like a god. I know you're my Murk Queen, but I think you're actually a god too. Uh, anyways, thank you all for being here, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters: Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, Philip Dowerty, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.